Hello, welcome to another edition of the Ohio Guys. We are here on location in Lansing, Michigan at ShootoCon, and I'm here with Jamie McGonigal. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I am doing great, man. It's been busy. It's like so much stuff has been going on. It's, I don't know how to describe it. It's just unbelievable. That microphone is amazing. Oh, thank you. It's fantastic. Yeah, uh, my friend here, uh, Mike from Ohio, yeah, he got these. I'm not sure where he bought it. I've always asked him, but he won't tell me. They look very fancy. <laughs> Yep, um, and how are, yeah. what is the fav- your favorite show that you've worked on? Uh, favorite show that I've worked on that's tough because they're kind of like your babies. Mm-hmm. Um, I love working on Magic Users Club, which not a lot of folks know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I obviously love Pokemon. Uh, and there's one show, uh, Viva Pinata, where I actually got to create my own character from scratch. We did the voices first, and then they drew them. Uh, so I feel like I have a bit more ownership over that character. Yeah, because that's very unusual that you get to like create your own character. Because most of the time they'll tell you, here's a character, do it, here you go. Yeah, here's something that's been dubbed in Japan, and, and uh, you're just doing the, or it has been originated in Japan, and you're doing the dub. Uh, with Viva Pinata, it was all started here. So uh, yeah, it was pretty fun to do. Yep. Uh, what was it like to work on Pokemon? Uh, Pokemon, I still work on it. It's um, it's fantastic. It's Pokemon. I mean, it's like to, to be able to say to someone when you say, you know, I work in anime, mm-hmm. um, and they're like, oh, what do you do? And uh, you're able to throw out a name like Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's a fun way to actually relate the work you do. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a great show still. It's been on like 18 years, which is insane. Uh, but yeah, I love I love every second of it. Yeah, because uh, it was such a great show because I remember it was like fourth grade. Oh, it was yeah. like Pokemon and it was just starting getting popular. It's like the cards, the show, mm-hmm. movies, everything. It was it's just still like, huge. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like it's become like a Nintendo classic. Really. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, what was it like to work on El Cazador de la Bruja? Ah, uh, El Cazador. Um, it was so much fun. It was uh, I used to do uh, more work at uh, Funimation in Texas. Excuse me. And um, El Cazador was very dark. Uh, it was like Girls with Guns show, um, and I played a very dark, creepy character, which I don't usually get to play. Usually, I'm like the horny teenager uh, with a cracky voice. Uh, and this guy was like a killer, and uh, it was fun. It was really fun. <laughs> it's a, it's a, and it's a beautiful show. It's really beautifully drawn and really beautifully performed. Um, but yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, out of any characters that you have played, who would you be? And you can mix and match. Who I would be in real life? Who would I be in real life? Oh dear lord. Um, I think, I think I'm kind. I think I'm kind of close to Barry in Pokemon because I'm a little crazy at times, um, and I'm also clumsy. Uh, I'm trying to think of other... And Takeo and Magic Users Club, again, like I, it's most of my, my favorite characters that I would probably be because I'm different, my, my favorites because I identify with them. Um, mix and match. I mean, I suppose like a, a cross between Barry and Takeo, and they're, they're both pretty similar already, so we probably wouldn't yeah. need to mix and match so much. Yeah, because uh, you know what I say, it's not crazy, it's just severely misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> Is there anything else that you've been working on recently that you could release to the public at this time? Um, I have no other titles. I'm just uh, just working on Pokemon. I moved to DC a couple of years ago uh, to be with my husband, and um, it's yeah. I've really primarily just do Pokemon now. Once in a while, I'll go up and, and do something one off here and there, um, but nothing nothing big. Yeah, um, I know you stated earlier that you are really um, passive. Um, how would I say this? Yes. You are very passive and involved in the LGBT community. Uh, how, how far involved are you in there? Uh, well, I'm gay, so I'm pretty involved. Um, <laughs> we, uh, my husband and I both, both uh, work with organizations and, and do work outside our day jobs uh, where we um, teach people how to tell their story effectively. Uh, we think that's actually what has changed a lot of people's minds over the past five, ten years, and it's why we have marriage equality and we'll have nationwide marriage equality soon. Um, so, yeah, I'm heavily involved in that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gay, so you kind of can't get away from it most days. Yeah. Um, also, another show that's one of the big three classics in anime these days, what was it like to work on? One Piece. Oh, One Piece. That was super fun. Uh, they gave me a lot of opportunities to play. Um, uh, I was Eyelash the Camel, uh, and he was crazy and hilarious. And I, uh, yeah, it was, it was a great time. And, and obviously, uh, such an iconic uh, anime uh, was, was a blast to work on. Yep. Um, also, for the fans that want to get a hold of you, like contact you, do you have like any social media like Facebook, Twitter? Or 
Twitter. Yeah, you can Facebook. find me on Facebook at Jamie Equality McGonagall. It's not my actual middle name, but on Facebook it is. Uh, or on Twitter at McBenefit. So that's M C B E N E F I T. All right. I'm David. I'm Jamie. Yep, and thanks for tuning in to the Ohio, guys. I'll see you next time.